Hey, what's up dudes? My name is HW. Today I wanna to talk about how to get million dollar tone out of any modeler, any modeler. And specifically, I wanna talk about how to use post amp EQ, specifically shelves, and how to use a little bit of post amp compression to really give your sound a very mixed, sort of mastered, polished, produced, type of feel and how to make it sound nice and warm uh, and juicy like a tube amp and a little warmer than you might be used to um, from modelers. I'm going to show you today how to do it on the Line 6 Helix, but these concepts will work for any modeler, uh, Axe FX, QC Quad Cortex, Kemper. This will even work in the analog world. These, this, these are not ideas I've come up with. These are like kind of common practices. So um, check this out. Here we are in line six, uh, HX Edit, boom. Now, if you're not familiar with HX Edit, signal chain starts here. It runs through these two lines. I'm gonna try to make this pretty simple. I'm using a little compressor up top. I'm using a little boost, like a Klon boost. And this um, is a model of a Plexi. And here's a custom IR that makes it sound like my 1968 Purple Plexi. Uh, it's got a little delay and reverb. Now, all we need to focus on are these two blocks right here. I'm using a little bit of high and low shelf, and I'm using a little bit of post compressor. It's an LA 2 way We're gonna talk about that. But first, let's talk about the shelves. I'm gonna turn off this compressor, and I just want you to hear on and off with the shelves. I'm not really using much cut up here in the IR, so I'm really, re I'm, I'm using some. It's about 13 uh, on the IR, but it doesn't matter. What I want you to hear is how we're treating shelves to get a little more of a polished sound. Here's the sound of a plexi with a boost on it. Sounds good. Sounds like a big old fat plexi got all that bright toppy top end. That's like with most of the knobs all the way up how I tone matched it. So that really to me grabs that sound. Now that sound is really great. Eddie had like a really, really kind of tight bite on his sound. But if we turn on these shelves, what are we doing? What's a shelf do? Well, a shelf is where you pick a point. So a high shelf, we're going to pick a point and from that point up, probably for you it's up, from that point up, up the frequency range, we're going to either raise or lower all those frequencies. And from a certain point down, we're gonna raise or lower all those frequencies. So I'm choosing a point of 266. That gives me nice control over my bass. And I'm saying, let's cut all the bass below that, 1.2 decibels. And I'm taking the same thing at 3.4, which is, really just grabbing the treble in the presence. I'm trying to get above high mid-range and I'm trying to grab that and I'm trying to bring it down a little bit. What's that gonna do? It's gonna give us a little more, um, a little more of an off-axis feel. <laughs> with, that was with, uh, whoops, I just, I just edited this slightly. That was with, here is without. With again. So you can hear kind of how that has a little bit of a fattening effect. We can take down some of those highs and take down some of those lows. You could certainly do more, but I'm also going to affect the EQ with a little light compression. Now, the, the Helix here has an LA-2A. This is a LA Studio Comp. And a very popular studio trick is to do what they call kiss the signal with an LA-2A. And that's where we just want a little bit of compression. What I'm going to do is... I'm gonna start this, the mix at 50%. So we get half dry signal, half LA-2A. And I want you to hear what this does to the signal. Um, this thing is, it, it's a compressor, but it's not like a simple guitar compressor. This thing has a peak reduction and um, there's an emphasis control. We'll get into that, but the peak reduction is gonna, is going to take those peaks and just bring some of them down, right? And then the interesting thing about that is with a sound like a Plexi, some of the high, the high end is what's kind of the most peaky. 
So it's gonna affect the high end kind of more than the other stuff. So he, listen to it off and on. Here's off again. Now listen to it on. Off again. On again. With it on, to me, it sounds a little more like an idealized Marshall. I have a bunch of old Marshalls. They don't totally sound like some recorded Marshalls. A lot of times I have, I had a Marshall sound in my head before I got several Marshalls and I realized, oh, that sound, that's a studio sound. And this is a one way you can get kind of that studio soundiness, right? We can turn this up and it actually makes it really fun to play. I'm gonna put it at 60%, I never go past 60%, but sometimes I, you can use 60% and I'm gonna pull the gain down a little bit and I'm gonna switch up my guitar and we're gonna play something like this. <laughs> Beautiful. I love that sound. Let me hear it without this compressor. We're going to flatten it out a little bit. And by the way, I'm not using any uh, any shelving right here. You hear that extra high end? You hear how it's not we're not reducing the peaks much? Let me let me turn that peak reduction up a bit. Beautiful. With it on, I'll tell you, feel-wise, it is. It's a lot different. That's without it, and it's nice. But dude, this is juicy and fun, and you really get it on the neck, you know. That is, I like that. I like that a lot, man. That is a really perfect kind of thing. Now, let's let's use too much of it because I want you to hear what it sounds like when you kind of overdo it and, and when it's not so good because we really want to kiss it. We're up at 60% and that works a little better on this stuff. But when we go back to Rock Plus, or Rock Plus is what I'm calling it. I have a preset in here called Rock Plus. But really, when we go back to the Marshall having the gain turned way up and we have a boost in front of it, then when we turn on this compressor again, we run in to this sort of thing. You can hear it sound squashed. It sounds squashed, and when I bring this way down here, and I bring it to like something more usable, where I would probably leave it as like 20%. Now you, there's a martial growl there that needs to, that you want there. I like that. So I like having it on. Let's try it completely without it and see, do we even need it? Ah! 
that's not bad. But to me, this compressor really polishes it up. It brings that low end and sort of brings it forward. It really, to me, gives it a very much more balanced feel um, while still sounding like itself. <laughs> personally like to leave this on on almost all my presets. This was the 68 Mars uh, Purple Plexi, which is available on the Tone Junkie site. However, I don't have this uh, compressor in there. I actually don't have a compressor in this spot at all. And that's because you don't really need it, but I myself like to put it on. And I sometimes go back and forth. Um, for the past several months, I've been kind of in this mood where I just like it on 15 to 20%. Um, you may be thinking, well, if I add a compressor at the end, does that mean that I lose dynamic range and I can't boost in the front? You most certainly can boost in the front. And, and to me, leaving it at 15, 20% mix um, for a post amp EQ, um, it really allows you to still have a dynamic range and a dynamic feel on the guitar while still having a nice, comfortable sort of squishiness. That's, that's nice. Squishiness is even too much of a word. It just really feels like the juiciness to me. It feels nice and loud, even though it's not loud. And um, you have all that dynamic range, and also you have plenty of room to boost in the front. Because remember, we're only putting in about 20% mix, right? Um, if you want, For cleaner stuff, sometimes I'll add in more um, for like recording a part or something. Um, I've done tunes where the gain sort of stayed the same, and I've I've jacked that compressor up a bit, and it really gives a nice smoothed out feel, a really nice mastered feel. But like I said, this will work on any any um, modeler, not just the Helix. I've been showing you in the Helix, but check that out. I got lots of tips and tricks for all of the other platforms. So if you're looking for something specifically for Kemper or Quad Cortex, I'll cover something very similar on there shortly. I'm an HW. Thanks so much for watching Tone Jigga TV. HW. Out.